Okay, part five, Oblivion Lake. Final area of chapter uno. And uh, yeah, like I said in the last video, it's gonna be a boss fight. And then some interesting cutscenes afterwards. So, let's hear the intro. The test has shaken him. I see the doubt in his eyes as he heads towards the lake. So Pan is helping him now, that's good. Perhaps it bodes well. I wonder if he knows what awaits him here, in this place where the dead can contact the living. It is cold now. A chill wind blows through his heart. I can see it, feel it. He will need help if he is to succeed. He must not fail. He will not fail. Not now. Not yet. Not if I have anything to do with it. Like main character entry. Sorry, Starburst are like the hardest things ever. Cool. Right. Nothing in the back. Okay. Main character entry. Who in the lock? Pan, Peter Pan. Hold on. Yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Here we go. Ice tight air. Size giant difficulty high. Hmm. Yeah, blow service of A titan of war. That somehow gave new energy to the magic cones, reanimating the Titan one final time. Or at least that's what I'm doing.
lot of dodging and trying to that. You see the size of the mirror intimidating, but then Does like him throwing it to him and him taking it down like in his head, does that mean that I lose one? It just was like they had it missing before. So I was like, when does he lose this dagger? I just I wanna know, it's the weirdest thing, but I wanna know. Look, it's caught now! So that might have been it. First boss, that might be why I lose my dagger. Nothing to forgive, my love. I am so happy to look upon your face again. And I yours. My love, the elders of the Order hope that you can help us to understand what is happening. The world has been isolated from the heavens. Some believe that God has abandoned us. Can it be true? I feel that... that the spirits are trying to talk to me. They whisper things to me. It is hard to understand them all. It, it is so dark. So many people crying. I cannot find them in the blackness. I'm scared. There is something else. A shadow is on my mind. You must help us, Gabriel. What are they telling you? Who are they? They are the spirits who founded your order. And that the power of the Lords of Shadow is the key. They talk of a prophecy. I don't understand what they mean. I can feel myself fading. I can hardly see you. Darkness is closing around me. Marie. I love you, Gabriel. Don't go, Marie. I love you too. Why 
are you here? Who sent you? I am Zobek, a warrior of your brotherhood. Han and I are old acquaintances. He felt you would be in need of my assistance. I have heard of you. I am sorry. My name is Belmont. I know who you are. Is that the spirit of someone you know? Yes. It was my wife. Forgive me. I couldn't help but overhear what she told you. It sounds like the spirits who founded our order are trying to tell us something very important through her. What do you mean? Only that the founders of the order seem to be using the dead to communicate with us. The prophecy has been secret for many centuries. It is known only to a select few. There is no way she could have known of it unless they managed to tell her somehow. Praise be to God. What prophecy? It is written that a pure-hearted warrior will claim the power of the Lords of Shadow as his own and use it in order to overcome all evil. It is said this warrior will become God's vassal on Earth, supremely powerful. He could do anything. The Founding Spirits have not abandoned us, Gabriel. Thanks to your Marie, we now know there is some hope. We have to enter the lands of the Dark Lords, you and I. We must reclaim the powers they hold and unite the heavens with this world once more. And don't you see, Gabriel? You can bring her back. If what you say is true, then we need to work quickly and in secret. The Lords of Shadow must not suspect we're on their trail, and they will turn all of their attention towards us. We should take different routes, you and I. I will head for the land of the Lycans. You leave for the territory of the vampires and prepare the way. Then we must go on to the Lord of the Necromancers together. His realm lies furthest. Our enemy must suspect nothing. Take this. It will allow you to absorb spiritual energy, and will help cure your wounds. Good luck, my friend. May we be granted victory. Thank you, brother. You have given me renewed hope. Mm -hmm. Master plan. So we're gonna kill the three and four of the shadow. We're gonna wake them with the vampire. These have. They each have something Oh yeah, the God Mask, right? They mentioned it. They each have a piece of the God Mask. And then I am the pure heart warrior that will be able to use it. The God Vassal and not all that good stuff. And then I'll be able to, you know, save Marie. Uh, you know, a good happy ending, all that good stuff. Anyway, so we got uh, levels done. It's a pretty quick level. I mean, you know, boss. And uh, some, some cutscenes and all that. Uh, anyway, got the one magic gem. Only the monster was ice type, and we got the light gem medallion and new artwork unlocked. So now, if we continue, it will be chapter two. So chapter one, we have sixty-three percent done already. We got a good job. So sixty-eight out of all of them, except for that one, because we couldn't get the weapon upgrade. Um, oh, so what was the trial on the last one? Finish the level after beating Pan's trial in five moons. Finish the level and defeat the ice type in less than a minute and thirty seconds. Or what? Yeah, one minute thirty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Chapter two. Holy levels! Look at all these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine levels in chapter two. And the first one is called Enchanted Forest. We'll get into that one later. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.